Oh, boys and girls, welcome back to Mr. N's library class. Hope you guys had a great week and you guys are now ready to get back to what? Teaching and learning. If you said learning, good job. All right. So remember last week I told you guys that we'll be starting a brand new lesson? I did. But guess what, guys? We only have three weeks left of school. So you know what that means? We have to try to get as much information in as we can in three weeks. Okay, guys? In three weeks. All right. So for the next couple of weeks, guys, we'll be focused on life cycles. Everyone say life cycles. Life cycles. Good job. All right. So before we leave, you guys will be able to understand the life cycles of plants and butterflies. Okay? Okay. You guys are going to see how butterflies and plants are created. How do they start? How do they build up to be what they are? All right. You guys will be learning the stages of their life from beginning to the end. Okay. How are butterflies created? How are plants created? Okay. That's what you guys will be learning. All right. But before we go, you guys are probably wondering, what is a life cycle, Mr. N? Let me tell you guys a little bit more about life cycle, okay? So life cycle means the stages of living thing. Us, we are a living thing. Boys and girls, you are a living thing, okay? Life cycles means the stages of a living thing that goes through during its life, all right? For example, when you guys are born, are you guys big kids or do you start off as a baby? Think about it, guys. When you guys are born, do you guys just become big kids or do you start off as a baby okay you start off as a baby then you get older and older and smarter and taller and healthier and stronger and you keep growing and growing and growing guys you guys are going through a life cycle as different stages of your life same with a butterfly a butterfly will start off very small and it will get bigger and bigger, and it will grow the antennas and fly away, right? And same with plants. Plants don't just be tall. No, right? It starts very small when you plant it with the seed, and it grows and grows. Those are the different life cycles, guys, from beginning till the end. So now let's focus on butterflies, okay? We're going to focus on butterflies first, all right? So we're going to be reading and learning about the life cycles of a butterfly. All right, let's get started. Watch the video and I'll pause as I go. Check it out. It's a butterfly. Don't worry, Moby. It's not going to hurt you. What are butterflies? Guys, what are butterflies? What do you guys think are butterflies? I want this is going to take a wild guess. Are butterflies insects? Let's see. Butterflies are a type of insect, like ants and beetles. Butterfly bodies have three main parts. The Who could tell me one main body part of a butterfly? What do you need to see? Look at your face. What do you need to see? You need your eyes, right? Where is your eyes located? Is your eyes on your head or on your arm? On your head, right? So I think butterflies, that's one of their main body part, guys, their head. Okay, let's keep watching. Head, thorax, and abdomen. And like insects, they also have three pairs of legs and two antennas. Butterflies use their antennas to smell for food. They drink the nectar of different flowers. They have a special body part called a proboscis, which is like a long straw butterflies use to drink. How do butterflies stay safe? Guys, how do you think butterflies stay safe? Think about it. Don't everyone is to stay safe? If it's an animal, ant, insect, 
human, us, it don't matter, right? Everyone needs to stay safe. How do you guys think butterflies stay safe? I have an idea. I think butterflies stay safe by what? Let's see. I think they hide within their colors in different areas. Let's see. Butterflies have two pairs of wings that are covered in tiny scales. They can be really colorful and have cool patterns. Some butterflies use their bright colors to warn that they're poisonous. Other butterflies fool predators by looking like poisonous butterflies, even though they're not. Others use camouflage and hide in their environment to stay safe. I think Mr. N gets that one right. They, they would use their colors from their wings and hide in different areas that matches their colors so no one could see them. Basically, they blend in, guys, okay? Let's see. Some butterflies have dark colors on one side, but when they open their wings, they're really colorful. This surprises predators and scares them away. Cool, a caterpillar. How do butterflies grow and change? All right, guys, now that we learned a little bit about butterflies, now let's see how butterflies are created. This is their life cycle. Okay, you guys ready to see how they created? How do they grow? Where do they come from? We about to find out. A life cycle describes how living things grow and change. Adult female butterflies lay their eggs on leaves and other places. All right, guys, that is the first stage, right? The first stage is what? They lay the eggs, okay? So the first thing they do is lay the eggs. This is the little egg right here, guys. So once the female butterfly lays the eggs, this is the first step of their cycle, of their life cycle. Let's keep going. Different butterflies lay their eggs on different plants. Many butterflies lay eggs on plants that will be food for their young. When an egg hatches, a larva crawls out. You guys see that? Remember, it starts off with an egg, right? That is the first cycle right and the second cycle is what the egg ashes and when the egg ashes guess what comes out a larva this is a larva right here guys so this larva crawls out of the egg right that is the second cycle the larva comes out so the first one is the egg right it's been laid in different places then over time the larva pops out of the egg, all right? And let's see what's gonna happen next. Right, Moby, the larva is called a caterpillar. Caterpillars can be colorful and have different patterns. Some caterpillars are even hairy. The caterpillar eats and eats to grow. It even sheds its skin as it gets bigger. Some caterpillars are really tiny but others are really big. Then the caterpillar changes into a pupa. All right, guys. So remember, we said the first cycle is what? The egg, remember? And second, the larva, also known as the caterpillar, comes out of the egg. So that's the second cycle, right? And the third cycle is what? The caterpillar changes into a pupa. This is a pupa right here, okay? Let's see what happens after the caterpillar changes into a pupa. That's the third cycle, let's see. Which is also called a chrysalis. Not all caterpillars spin cocoons. Some moth caterpillars spin a cocoon around them and turn into a pupa inside. But butterfly caterpillars do not make cocoons. The pupa goes through metamorphosis. It can take a few days or even a few weeks. During metamorphosis, the pupa grows wings and goes through other big changes to become an adult. 
Did you guys see that? Did you guys see the pupa go from what? It started off with an egg, right? Then it became what? A caterpillar, right? Then a caterpillar turned into a pupa. This was the pupa right here, right? And after the pupa, what came out of the pupa, guys? The butterfly. Let's see. Adult butterflies and moths look a lot different from caterpillars. Some butterflies migrate and travel for many miles so they can lay their eggs in warmer or drier places. There are many different kinds of butterflies around the world. I like observing butterflies in our community and keeping track of what I see. There's really nothing to be afraid of, Moby. <laughs> I think it likes you. All right, guys, what is your favorite butterfly? There's a lot of pretty butterflies, right? With nice colors and different patterns. What is your favorite type of butterfly? I want you guys to tell anyone that's next to you, any family member, what is your favorite type of butterfly? What colors do you like of a butterfly? All right, remember, what is the four cycles, guys? Remember, it started off with an egg. Remember, the egg was laid. And the second thing that happened is what? The caterpillar bust out of the egg, right? And the third thing that happens is what? The caterpillar turns into a pupa, right? And after it turns into a pupa, the butterfly grows out of the pupa and breaks free and fly away, all right? And fly away. All right, guys, let's play a quick game, okay? Let's play a quick game, guys. I want you guys, we're going to do a quick puzzle. I want you guys to tell me where this puzzle goes. Are you guys ready? There's something we usually do in class, but guess what? We're going to pretend we're in class, right? And we're going to do this puzzle the same way. All right, guys, what should go first? What do you guys think? Let's put the end piece. You know, on puzzles, guys, you always want to start with the end piece, right? Because, you know, this is always going to be the end, correct? All right, let's start off with that. All right, what match is this right here? Is it this one, guys? Does this match? Yes, I think so. It matches. Good job, boys and girls. All right, let's see another one. Does this match? Is this a match, guys? Uh, I don't think it's a match. No, the butterfly don't connect, so I don't think that is a match. Let's see if there's another one. Uh, is this a match? This is a match. Look, the butterfly connected. Good job, boys and girls. All right, let's go to the next one. So we know this end is done, right? Now we need to focus on these pieces right here because we have two ends, two corners. That's done. All right. Is it this one right here? I think so. Look, does that butterfly connect? Yes, it is. And it's an end piece also. So we know that connects. So it's two more. Let's see. Is this the right piece? I don't think so, because this don't match with this piece. So let's try the other one, guys. Does this one match? Yes? I think so. And what is the last one, guys? Is it this one? Yes, it is. Give yourself a round of applause, the boys monarch and girls. butterfly. Good job, guys. Now what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to complete a worksheet. Okay, this is what I want you guys to do. We talked about the different cycle of what? A butterfly. Now I want you guys to put the cycle in order. Okay, so there's four pictures down here. I want you guys to get your scissors. Make sure your mommy help you, okay? Make sure someone helps you at home, all right? And I want you guys to cut it out and put it how, what is the life cycle of a butterfly? Where does it start? What is the first thing that happened? What happened next, what happened then, and what happened last, okay? So you guys are going to place it right where it belongs in order for the life cycle of a butterfly, all right? All right, guys. Next week, we'll be talking about plants, okay? All right, boys and girls, I want you guys to have an excellent week. Keep working hard, but play harder, all right? See you guys later.